The announcement was made by Vice President Mike Pence on March 26th during the 5th National Space Council meeting at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. The Vice President made the following announcement about accelerating our return to the moon. 50 years ago, one small step for man became one giant leap for mankind. At the direction of the President of the United States, it is the stated policy of this administration and the United States of America to return American astronauts to the moon within the next five years. While it is too soon to know for sure how this will be accomplished, this is the first time a president has set a definite time for returning to the moon since Kennedy's original goal of landing a man on the moon before the end of the 1960s. There are three main possibilities as to how to proceed. Two involve rockets that have not yet flown, and the third involves a combination of existing rockets. The first one would involve improved funding for SLS so as to ensure that the first flight occurs by the end of next year. This will give an additional four years for manned missions leading up to a landing. It would also involve funding a lunar lander, which is already in progress. Option two would involve helping SpaceX develop the Big Falcon rocket so they can be ready to fly in time to meet the goal of returning humans to the moon in five years. This project is far enough along that with NASA's help, it can easily be on the moon in five years. This would probably be the most economical option in the long run. The third possibility involves using a combination of existing rockets, such as the Delta Heavy, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy. This has the advantage that these vehicles are already flight proven, and two of them just need to be man rated. This would still require the development of a separate lander, and it requires breaking up the flight into more than one launch. This announcement is quite exciting because it offers the possibility of having the first post-Apollo landing on the moon in just a few years. It also sets a definite time within the second term of the current administration, making it less likely to be canceled. This also brings up the possibility of making the first post-Apollo flight to land on the moon include the first woman to set foot on the moon. Regardless of how NASA proceeds to make this become a reality, the next five years should be quite interesting indeed. If you like this video, please press the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also give it a thumbs up. You can also support this channel with a donation by using the link in the description.